Hey, this is week six of the LSBA, and I'm about to battle Taco, and I want to show you why um, the LSBA, what makes it so fun. I wonder what why Taco's late to his battle. Footage from an hour ago. Taco was eaten by a crazed blue puppet. He never showed. We can only fear the worst. Taco was found dead in Miami. The FBI found two bullets in the back of his head, ruled as a suicide, and the case was never opened again. Uh, that's a joke, because that means it's an assassination. May we honor his memory by marking August 13th as Taco Tuesday, because it is Tuesday. And this is all because he got some nickname in middle school gym class. But yeah, he was like an hour and a half late. And he asked for a very specific time, 2.21, so we assumed he'd all... <laughs> he'd be able to make it. I want to show off this weird set I'm trying to pull off with uh, Mega Mawile today. Because I was looking at his moves and he doesn't need much beyond Stone Edge for his actual matchups. So I just gave him three support moves. And I'm gonna baton pass, a swords dance, and substitute, which is legal. I checked the rules. As long as you don't pass speed and don't have baton pass on more than one Pokemon. Oh no, you actually can baton pass speed as long as that's the only thing you pass. But you can pass all five other stats, and then an ingrain, and uh, a substitute if you want, as long as speed is not involved. Which I'm sure I could have taken more advantage of this season if I really cared in, with my baton pass team. And here is my prep sheet. Um, I mistakenly misunderstood the trading rules. So, Zamazenta would have been really, really good for this matchup, but I accidentally traded him, like, three hours too early to be allowed to use it. Zamazenta's the one all the way on the right here, so... I decided I'm just gonna make the whole rest of the team try to support... Iron Hands. Oh, but he might have Ditto. And weirdly enough, uh, when I checked the damage calcs, close combat almost always does more damage than Fire Punch to a Ferrothorn. But I think that's just because it's Stab. Um, yeah, so Fire Punch would be 300 ordinarily close combat would be 240 unless it's stab then it would be 360 so 360 versus 300 that's a little weird because it's so easy to see the four times multiplier and assume that it's always going to be the two times multiplier but that's not the case he responds to all this i escaped but the horrors I witnessed in Cookie Monster's stomach will haunt my creams for the rest of my days. You meant dreams, right? So he's hard to send challenges to because he makes a new account name every four days and he hasn't done any... He made this one four days ago and, uh... Because his other username got taken down because he pushes the edge. And, very nice, this is very typical. I think this is exactly what he brought last week, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, he just got home, he didn't prep, he just used the same team from uh, David. Which is fine, uh, luckily there's no ditto. I... 
Yeah, I think I want my reflect lead. Oh, that sucks. I think he'll survive one hit. Nito Speedo, is that what he used to... What he named his other one? No, he named it XXX, so this is a... Uh... I think he's trying to trick me into thinking it's Choice Scarfed, when actually it's... Life Orb or Choice Specs or Choice Band. I hope it's a physical set, but it's probably not. It's... Oh, sorry. Uh, Alex says, Return of the King, because that's his name. All right, he switched into Volcanion. Check this out. I absorbed Water Absorb. Oh, that was a uh, Nido. That was the Zoroark. Right, I specifically used Trace to identify Zoroarks. Ah. Oh. How could I forget that? And now he can't use uh, his water move or whatever. Nice. Now he's probably going to switch. Because what else is... What else is a Vulcanian going to do to Porygon? Oh, no. He's using the flamethrower. That's a that's a decent move. Very good choice. I Since I know I am up against a special attacker who is not Zoroark. I don't want to send in my Mawile. I don't want to start up the swords dance and all that. I know his other move is... Toxic, so Toxic isn't going to work. And I don't think he really has to worry about any of these guys. I might get a Ferrothorn switch. Oh, he's just staying in. He's just going for it. He's sacking off this, uh... Volcano. I don't know. I don't think he switches all that often. He's more of a revenge killer team. So, yeah, Muck has... Reflect and Assault Vest right now. That's gonna kind of suck. Um, okay, so he resi- He's thinking I might potentially have choice specs or or choice band, or choice scarf, maybe even. So, what is he going to do? He's going to earth power. I didn't consider bringing any flying types, not that I, th or levitators. You know, if I had thought about it, maybe I would have really liked having... Uh, Cresselia for its levitate. Alright, so if that's a 350, f what damage it does to 354. Hmm. 
This will do about 16. Um, yeah, I just got to come in and revenge kill it with the Annihilate. I guess is he's gonna send in Zapdos or he's just gonna go for another earth power so let's cut our losses or split the difference all right so if base 75 did 33 with 339 attack Ice Punch should do twice as much damage, so that should do 66%. Oh, that sucks. What's going to happen? Am I going to get hurricaned? Now, he might have Heat Wave. And we know it's a... He puts Ancient Power and Hurricane on it. And sometimes Weather Ball. Yep, Ancient Power, Hurricane. But we've never seen the Heat Wave. We've seen the Hidden Power, though. Now, if he doesn't have Heat Wave, that'll be very nice for Mawile. I don't know when else I would get that switch. He d didn't bring as many physical attackers as I was expecting. I... Just hope he, uh, he uh, gets tempted to use Ancient Power. Oh, Thunderbolt, dang. Uh, okay, whatever. That's That's been his fourth move this whole time. Oh well, can't do anything with him now. It's still possible for me to win. I might get the uh, what's-his-face sweep. And he might actually get the uh, the boost. Alright, so I got three turns. What do I want to do with them? I may need to... Swords Dance anyway. The Heat Wave would have done more than the Thunderbolt any right. Anyway. And then, this is just for the attack, and what did I want? I wanted Zap, Dos, DDoS, with the active boosts, I will, yeah, I'll probably need the sword stance.
Gosh, what did I make his defensive stat? I made it defense. I gave him plus defense. Yeah, so this Nero King is for sure not living in Earth power. Nobody expected it to. Um, oh, really? Thanks, dude. Oh, uh, what is it? It's not a Zorwark. He is allowing me to win here. Oh, no, he's switching. <laughs> he just wanted to bait the helmet barbs. And this is fine because I gave him the extra defense EVs for the quick attack. Oh no, he's using return net. That makes sense. That's a good move. Now, if I can set up a... Another trick room, I think I've got it, unless this Zoroark is sashed. Uh, the Hatterini is sashed, so I am... pretty much guaranteed to get a setup. Don't get poisoned! <laughs> I could psychic, but it's safer to go in the hands. Oh, it's, it's very unlikely that I will lose. But uh, I am sad that Mawile didn't pop off. I was too focused on the novelty of it. I never play tested it even once. I just thought that'd be fun. I don't know. Uh, did Muck do anything? Wait. It's so uncommon to see a Zoroark just come out as itself without ever taking damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch me click the swords dance. No, I'm... Oh. I... I think between the two of us, we made it very exciting. All right, so I've done six battles. This is win number two. <laughs> I've lost four times. So here, I'm at, my hands is at 63 and it takes 49. So I wanna see, oh, that was the high roll. That was the most damage it could have done. Let's see what would have happened if I had done hit points. Oh, he'd have been fine. Uh, yeah. Hit points is usually the better investment. But let's see if he had zero hit points. Ho! Oh, he still would have been fine. Alright, so if you have no hit points, it does 61%. And if you have the hit points, that reduces 7 percentage points of the damage, which isn't that much. And if you do defense instead, that's an extra 4%. Percentage points, okay? So, proportionately... Your investment only affects 20 to 30% of the damage. 
But he, he'd have been fine even if he had the speed. But... No, if he had Earthquake, though. Oh. It was very fortunate for me that he did not have Earthquake, because I would have not... done well. Hatterini could have beat the Nidoking, but I'm not sure whether it would have been able to beat Zoroark. Because it just had Psychic and Mystic Fire. And I didn't even consider at that time that he could use Earthquake. Otherwise, I would have switched out. Yeah, it would have been a much safer play to have switched out into Porygon to take the return and then do, do this thing. Well, then he wouldn't have gotten the Healing Wish. No, he wouldn't have needed the Healing Wish to begin with. Because I still had... A whole extra turn for beating the pincer. So that would have been better. But that's not how I played it. In response to Taco's comment about it, hunting his creams, Azaz says, So that's what they mean by cookies and cream. And uh, this guy says, I wouldn't have taken that. You're stronger than me. If they focus sashed, tricked room, healing wished me, I'd go to his house and eat all of his food. And then we had a really long conversation about what everyone's ages were and where everybody lives and, um, making plans to meet up and where to meet up, and this is five years from now. Right now, they're saying there's votes for all three of the top ones. And let me pull up the... Gosh, that was... So long ago. Um, yeah, so... Everybody... The six people in Lake Stevens are 30. The uh, two of us who are participating, who are Gen 2 UW Club, are 28, and I'm 27. New York, we got two 24s. And... Some of these guys are from New York, some of them are from Wisconsin, one of them's from Florida, I... No, no. One of them's Connecticut. Yeah. Connecticut, Florida, New York. And then we found out this guy's actually in Washington. And yeah, it's a fun day for conversation. 